Pubic Lice by Lauren Pruitt, presenters Lauren Pruitt as well as Michelle Pruitt. Pubic lice, also referred to as crabs, is a sexually transmitted disease that is caused by the infestation of a small parasite known as Pitherius pubis. It is transmitted via sexual contact, although bedding and clothing may play a minor role in their transmission. Pubic lice cannot spread to an individual's scalp, but will also affect the areas of the body with coarse hair, such as the beard or mustache, armpits, the chest, legs, eyelashes and eyebrows, which is seen more commonly in children. Pubic lice has three stages, which include the egg, the nymph, and an adult. The eggs, which are also known as nits, are laid on the hair shafts. Females will lay approximately 30 eggs during their three to four week lifespan. Eggs hatch about a week and become nymphs, which look like similar versions of the adults. The nymphs undergo three growths before becoming adults. They are found only on the human host and require human blood to survive. If adults are formed off of the host, they will die within 24 to 48 hours without blood feeding. The signs and symptoms of pubic lice. An individual with pubic lice will experience intense itching in the pubic or genital area. An individual will see the presence of crawling lice or nits known as eggs. Other areas of the body such as the chest can itch due to the presence of lice. The lower belly, upper thighs, or buttocks can have bluish spots from the repetitive feeding of the lice in the same area. Children that develop infestation of lice on their eyebrows or eyelashes can have itching or burning in their eyes. The eyelids may appear red and irritated. The diagnosis of pubic lice is done by finding a lice or egg in the hair of the pubic region. They can also be found in other less common areas such as the armpit, the mustache, the beard, the chest, the legs, the eyelashes, or the eyebrows. Sometimes a magnifying glass may be used to find the lice or eggs. The treatment of pubic lice includes applying over-the-counter topical creams, lotions, and shampoos to kill the lice and the eggs. If the over-the-counter topical are not effective, your doctor might prescribe stronger treatments. A person can be reinfested with pubic lice after treatment. Pubic lice infestation sometimes can lead to complications such as discolored skin. Pale blue spots may develop where pubic lice have been feeding continually. Also, secondary infections. If itchy lice bites cause you to scratch yourself raw, these wounds can become infected. And lastly, eye irritations. Children who have pubic lice on their eyelashes may develop a type of kink eye, also known as conjunctivitis. To prevent pubic lice, avoid sexual contact with anyone infested with pubic lice. Limit number of sex partners. If an individual is infested, notify sex partners immediately. If an individual is being treated for pubic lice, all sexual partners need to be treated as well. Avoid sharing bedding, towels, or clothing with anyone infested with pubic lice. Pubic lice is not considered a reportable sexually transmitted disease. According to the Minnesota Department of Health, it is estimated there are 3 million cases of pubic lice a year. Pitherius pubis infestation burden in the world appears to be approximately 2% of the adult population. This concludes my presentation on pubic lice. Thank you all for viewing and a special thanks to Daniel at Oreo.